Hey guys, and welcome back to your next five questions on the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, this is part of the AFQT, so keep practicing so that you can get the score you need to get into the branch of the military you're hoping for. So without further ado, let's dive right into these five questions. What a weird question on the ASVAB. I guess it's just working on place value here. So we got to find out another name for this guy right here. Well, let's just look at the places. So this would be 20,000. So it's going to be one of these two already. Then we don't have anything here. So we do have a seven here and that's 700. So that tells me right there it's D and that last place six is the same for all of them. So answer D. Well, on number seven, you just need to know how to read a number line. So it says to fill in these two missing blanks here. Well, it seems to be jumping by just one each time because we got negative five, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, and then zero. So that means that this is negative four and this is going up one. So that would just be one. Answer is A. Number eight is going to be best solved by process of elimination because if I look at these answers here and try to tell which one's divisible by three, seven, and eight, 21, 24, and 56, I know what things divide those. 168 might be out of my range. 21 I know is divisible by seven, but it's definitely not divisible by eight. Whereas 24 is divisible by eight, but not by seven. 56 is divisible by both seven and eight, but not by three. So that means that our answer has to be 168. Answer D. So number nine is checking to see if you understand exponents and how they work. In this case, it has four times four times four. This is not the same thing as four times three because that's just 12. And four times four is already 16, making it much higher than 12. So let's look at these other options here. This is an exponent, but which of the two it is? Well, in this case, we have four three times. So that is how an exponent works. So this answer is C, four raised to the third power because there's three of them. Number 10 is only difficult because you can't use a calculator on this test, but we're going to take 35 and we're plugging it in here for C. Now remember, when you multiply by a fraction, you're essentially only multiplying by the top number and dividing by the number on the bottom. So to keep the number small, I'm going to divide by the bottom number first. So 35 divided by 5 just gives us 7, and we still have to multiply that by the 9. But 9 times 7 is just 63, and then all we have left is adding that 32. So when you add the two of these together, you get a final answer of B, 95. Those were your five videos for today. You made it all the way to the end. In the comment section, go ahead and let me know which branch of the military you're hoping to get into. That way I know a little bit more about the people watching this video and know how I can best help you to succeed. Remember, if you want to see more ASVAB videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and I'll be releasing a new one next week for the next five and continuing on after that. Again, thanks for joining, and I hope you found it helpful.